Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm covering nerfs and buffs for weapons and different bug fixes in the haunting event that just dropped Monday, I believe. We're a little late on the update, but needs to be covered if you want to rock the metal weapons. Hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. All right, gang, we had an update Monday and yesterday. We wanted to cover these. We had bug fixes. Uh, this was for the Tuesday update. Fixed an issue that would cause the loadout select menu to open while in combat. That was super annoying. Uh, fixed an issue where pressing the back button from a connected second input source uh, could cause the game to not respond to any input until relaunched. Uh, super small stuff. I want to see if they fix the, the grip, like where you could tune your grip. Let's see. Warzone bug. Crash chemistry journal fix. Uh, spamming armor plates while hell is heating up causes the player to take significantly less damage. A crazy glitch, bro. I'm not seeing anything on that. Let's see. There was weapon balancing. I mean, this is huge. Let's see. These are for multiplayer. And then where are the Warzone? Yeah, we'll just cover Warzone, honestly. I mean, maybe we'll get back to multiplayer. Let's see. Uh, cast off 762 got a nerf. Lockman 556 got a buff. The TR76 got a nerf. M13B got a nerf. Uh, M4 got a buff, I guess, if you run it like an SMG. Looks like the Lockwood 300 finally got crushed, which is gas. A bunch of bug fixes. They really didn't change too much for Warzone. What did they change all in multiplayer then? Let's see. Uh, Minibok got nerfed vasnev got nerfed lockman shroud got nerfed yeah iso 9 mil got nerfed pdsw buffed fennec 45 buffed boz p is buffed pr76 got nerfed cast off 762 buffed for multiplayer cast off 74 u uh, nerfed pack 56 nerfed fr advancer buffed M16 buffed, Tempest Razorback buffed, M4 buff, Lockman 556 buff, uh, Chrono Squall got a buff, SO14, Lockman 762, and the Aptac Recon, all three of these got buffed. Uh, Lockwood 300 nerfed, Bryson 800 nerfed, Expedite 12 buff, Heavy Broadside buff and nerf, buff the 12 gauge ammunition nerf to Dragon's Breath. EBR 14 nerf, Tempest Torrent nerfed, uh, SPR 208 got a buff, and the Rowl got a buff. It wasn't really like a super update. Um, I guess they didn't fix like the, the tuning problem. There's been like a problem where you can't tune grips, and I don't think they've like covered that at all. Like I'm trying to see, I don't really see anywhere where they would have covered that in these patch notes. It, I guess it would have been yesterday for the global bug fix. It's talking about like sword collections, dragon sword, back button, uh, select menu, ADS could become obscured by kill tags. Fixes that would cause incorrect background and peer previewing weapon. Fix an issue that prevent players from reporting feature using a controller. Uh, the game to crash engaging zombies. Uh, where chemistry journal and Zyre observer is gonna be picked up. A uh, non-party leader could get stuck on an unusable select screen through DMZ through the haunting tab. Fix an issue where spamming our place when it's damage. Uh, man, that's super weird. I don't know. And then I guess to like sum it all up, we have MW2 or MW3 campaign next week. Like we have that series. So I really don't know if we have like any other like big events happening through the Halloween event. I kind of think this is it. Hopefully they get everything else fixed, but it looks like for uh, this week's patch notes, not really anything crazy. Just with Warzone in particular, the cast off is nerfed, the Lockman got a buff, the TR-76 is nerfed, M13B is nerfed, and the M4 got buffed. That is legitimately it. Um, oh, and the Lockwood 300 got nerfed. That's it, gang. Look, if you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the sub button, crush that like button. I'll catch you all tomorrow with another banger. Let's get it.